Good morning. It's time for a book. Today I have the Underwater Alphabet book because our theme is letters. And this is the front cover <clears throat> and the back cover. Here's the spine. We're going to make sure we're sitting up big and tall. We're going to take a deep breath and we're going to read the Underwater Alphabet book by Jerry Pallotta. So here's my title page, The Underwater Alphabet Book by Jerry Pallotta. <clears throat> if you look underwater on any of the coral reefs of the world, you will see an incredibly beautiful place. Wow, coral reefs may be the most interesting places on earth. A coral reef is made of millions of animals called coral. Corals have hard skeletons that attach to each other, forming huge colonies. A coral colony can be almost any shape, and many different colonies form a reef. Hundreds of other creatures live among the corals. There are seaweeds, sponges, crabs, anemones, snails, fanworms, and many more. The most colorful creatures living on the coral reefs might be the fishes. And here's our letter A. A is for angelfish. There are enough different kinds of angelfish in the world for someone to write an angelfish alphabet book. The one on this page is a flame angelfish. It looks like the flame on a candle. You see him? B. B is for basslet. Baby eagles are called eaglets. Baby pigs are called piglets, but baby bass are not called basslets. Basslets are little fish that are different from bass. Here we have a candy striped basslet, a backstrap basslet, a fairy basslet. C is for cowfish, moo. Oh, don't be silly. Cowfish don't moo. But some people think that they look like cows with horns. A cowfish has bony plates on the outside of its body. You could say that this fish lives inside its own box. D is for dolphin. A dolphin is a mammal that breathes air through the blow hole on the top of its head. Dolphins are considered one of the smartest creatures in the ocean. Remember, these dolphins are not fish. They're mammals, they breathe air. D is also for dolphin. Is this a mistake? No, it's not. There's also a fish called a dolphin. In Spanish, it's called a dorado. D could also be for dorado. In Hawaii, it's called a mahi-mahi. Dorados have been known to smash their heads into the life rafts of people lost at sea. Maybe they're trying to say hello. E is for Eagle Ray. Eagle Rays swim by flapping their wings like fins. Rays are related to sharks. Rays and sharks do not have bones in their bodies. Their skeletons are made of cartilage. Your ears are made of cartilage. Can you find your ears? F is for four-eyed butterfly fish. This fish doesn't really have four eyes. It has two eyes, just like other fish, but it also has two fake eyes. Its real eyes are hidden by a black line running across the side of its face. The fake eye might make its enemies think it's going where it has already been. That's a kind of camouflage, isn't it? G. G is for grunt. When grunts are in or even out of the water, they make little grunt sounds. Grunt, 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 oink, grunt. Grunts sometimes look like they are kissing. Maybe they are kissing. No kissing is allowed in this book. <gasps> but maybe we could pretend to kiss. Mwah! Ooh, H is for hammerhead shark. Hammerheads have been known to travel long distances in large groups. 
They do not stay on coral reefs, but they do visit because there are so many fish there. A shark can detect another fish by the electrical current made in the other fish's body. H is also for humu humu muku nuku apua'a. These fish make nests on the bottom of the ocean. Oh my goodness. The humu humu nuku nuku apua'a is also called a trigger fish. In Hawaii, there is a popular folk song all about the humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. It's a very long name, which means the fish which has a needle, has a snout, and oinks like a pig. I is for indigo hamlet. The word indigo means blue. The indigo color allows this fish to hide in the blue ocean. Other hamlets have different colors and different names, but some scientists think they're actually just one kind of fish. Sorry. J is for jackknife fish. This fish probably got its name because it is shaped like an open jackknife. Fish make a lot of funny noises. Some fish grunt, chirp, squeal, buzz, and squeak. The jackknife fish croaks like a frog. Did you think any fish sings shooby dooby doo There are three basic kinds of coral reefs. A fringing reef extends from the shoreline, a barrier reef is offshore, and between a barrier reef and the land is a lagoon. An atoll is a circular collection of reefs with a lagoon in the middle. K is for king angelfish. King angels are territorial. <clears throat> they act like kings. They don't like other king angels in their territory. Hey, get out of the way. L is for lionfish. Other fish and scuba divers stay away from the lionfish because some of its spines are poisonous. In different parts of the world, this fish is called scorpionfish, firefish, zebrafish, dragonfish, and turkeyfish. M is for man of war. This jellyfish is one of the few ocean creatures that floats on the surface. Stay away. The man of war is one of the most poisonous of all jellyfish. The top of its body is shaped like the sail on a sailboat and the wind blows it around, but its tentacles grow as long as telephone poles. N is for the nudie branch. Nudie branches are sea slugs. Slugs? Sea slugs aren't fish, they're mollusks, just like clams and snails. A nudie branch is like a snail without its shell. This one on this page is crawling on red sponge. On the Great Barrier Reef near Australia, there are more than 400 different kinds of nudie branch. O is for old wife. The old wife lives in warm waters on coral reefs. It also lives in cold ocean water. Not many fish swim in both warm and cold water. This fish has two dorsal fins on its back. Coral reefs exist only in warm tropical waters. Reef building corals cannot live in seawater that's too cold or too warm. Uh-oh, there's that shark again, yikes. <laughs> it's a great white shark. A baby shark is called a pup. This one's not a pup. P is for porcupine fish. The porcupine fish is a slow swimmer. For protection, it blows itself up into a big ball of sharp spines. Anything crazy enough to eat a porcupine fish is in for a surprise and maybe a stomach ache. Q is for queen conch. Queen conchs are big snails. The inside of their shells is pink and very smooth. It's getting harder and harder to find queen conchs because people like to collect their shells. If people aren't careful, pretty soon there will be no queen conchs left. People everywhere have to learn to appreciate the ocean, respect the sea creatures, and do everything they can to keep the ocean clean. R is for ribbon eel. The ribbon eel is long and very thin like a piece of ribbon. It's so thin that it can hide in tiny crevices in rocks and coral. Baby ribbon eels are so clear you can see through them. Ribbon eel, you have a strange nose.
S is for sweet lips. A group of fish is called a school. Sweet lips swim in large schools. The ones on this page are called spotted sweet lips. They have nice, big, yellow lips. T is for tomato clownfish. This fish makes its home among the tentacles of an anemone. The anemone stings and kills other small fish, but not the clownfish. By staying in the tentacles, the clownfish is safe from other fish who might eat it. U is for upside down jellyfish. Most jellyfish try to keep their domes upward and their tentacles downward, but the upside down jellyfish goes to the bottom, flips itself over, and eats upside down. V is for veined shrimp. It is also called a peppermint shrimp because of its bright red and white stripes. Veined shrimp are one of many ocean creatures who are cleaners. They clean the bodies and even inside the mouths of other fish. Most of the fish do not eat their cleaners. Be nice, moray eel. See the shrimp? That's the eel. He's cleaning his teeth like a dentist. W is for wrasse. There are hundreds of different kinds of wrasses in dozens of different sizes, shapes, and colors. Some wrasses change color and shape as they grow older. X is for Xanthidae. The crab on this page is called a coral crab. It is one of the crabs in the crab family, Xanthidae. A crab has to shed its shell in order to grow larger. The shedding of its shell is called molting. Y is for yellow seahorse. This creature is a fish, but it doesn't even look like a fish. It has no fins on its curly tail. It uses its tail to hold on to seaweed and coral. Before we get to the end of the alphabet, did you know that some corals are not hard? They're soft corals, such as sea fans and sea whips. On this page, there is an orange sea whip. Z is for zebra pipefish. Seahorses and pipefish are very similar. Marine biologists jokingly call a pipefish a straightened out seahorse. The zebra pipefish has a zillion stripes on it. All right, did the illustrator paint an exact mirror image of the Y page or did the printing company flip-flop the page? Here's the secret. It was flip-flopped. Oh no, it's the end! All right, that was Underwater Alphabet Book. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. I wish you well.